I'll start with my Valentine. Happy Valentine's Day! Give my cup of coffee. Hi! Tanya! Happy Valentine's Day, dear! Thank you so much. Oh, I couldn't have ended this day without you guys, my Valentines. People think Valentines are only, or oh, Valentine's Day is only for uh, couples, only for a man and a woman, only for a husband and a wife. <laughs> But the way I see Valentine is different. I see Valentine's Day in another way. Thank you so much, Tanya. Greetings to your hobby. Mm, thank you. Greetings to you. Hello, hello. Okay. So. To me, I think Valentine's Day is for all people who love. <laughs> yeah. As you guys are my own Valentine. So I say, let me at least, no matter how busy I am, let me be some time to wish you all a special Valentine's Day. Wishing you love, wishing you blessings, wishing you everything that life can give. My first Valentine is who? Ah, yeah. Valentine talks about love, yeah. So. My first Valentine. Now the one with God be sent now. <laughs> God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believes in him shall never perish. Yes. Who will tell me the verse for inside Bible? Who can tell me this verse? What uh, what verse is it in the Bible? The quotation in the Bible. God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believes in him shall never perish. Yes. Say it louder. No, that is not right. Okay. John 1.1 1, 1 is not correct. God loves the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believes in him shall never perish but have everlasting life or have eternal life. Yes, we may have other Valentines today but that is our special Valentine. Uh -huh. The love of God, the love of God to his people, the love that Jesus brought from heaven to us, and he now extended to us through his disciples. Jesus sent his disciples to go and preach the good news and teach us how to live a happy life by showing love to one another. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, to me, I think that is the center of love. Yeah, Herodias said, uh, yes, Tanya said, John 3, verse 16. That's right. Oh, congratulations, my dear. John 3, verse 16. That's right. Oh, I applaud you. I applaud you. I'm having the phone. Let me put it down and I applaud you. Congratulations. 
there is another powerful, uh, another powerful verse in the Bible that talks about love. Yes, another powerful one that talks about love, which, which uh, it is one of the greatest commandments of God. Who can just say that to us? One of the greatest commandments in the Bible. Yes. We have the Ten Commandments in the Bible, but we still have this commandment, which is the greatest. Yes, uh, La Pluta Mendu. Welcome to the live stream, dear. Happy Valentine's Day to you. Also glad to have you here. Sorry if I didn't call your name well. Uh, uh, the name is Le, is it Le Pluta Mende? Okay. I'm sure when I'll be calling it often, I'll get used to it. Yes, I'm waiting. Who can tell us that Bible verse? The greatest commandments. The greatest commandments in the Bible. Yes. Who can tell me? That greatest commandment which talks about love. Love your neighbor as yourself. Please, can you give me the full verse, my dear? Love your neighbor as yourself. Yes, I want to see those who are strong in the love because that is the first lesson. Yes, that is the first lesson. You know, this Bible, sometimes people believe, people say that uh, truly that God does not exist or what. But to me, I believe that even God exists or God does not exist. But the Bible is a guide to everybody who wants to live uh a moderate and virtuous life because the Bible gives us um, lessons. The Bible teaches us a lot of things that are useful in our own daily life that if we follow them correctly, we will see that we are living a better life. Yes. Thank you, Herodia. Oh, you are doing a great job today. Continue. Can you tell me more about this verse? Can you tell me more about this? I want you to state the full sentence. I know it, but I don't want to say it. I want to see who is going to be the first to state that full commandment. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You are doing a great job. Can you please... Invite others, invite to join the show. Maybe it's going to be fun, more fun, if more people join this. Yes, it's going to be more fun because it's going to be more competitive. Yes, love your neighbor as yourself. Yes, now the next question I'm going to come up just relating it to this question or to this verse, love your neighbor as yourself. And now Herodia is, uh, seems to be alone. I need more other people to, to comment on this. Mabe, mm. I don't know if, if, if yes. you, you, uh, yes. you guys can, because I, I want to finish this bit. Okay. Mm. So, go. YouTube. YouTube. YouTube, because he has some work. Yes. Hold on, let's go. Who called it? That's for us. You can get it outside, it's easy then. Okay. I'm waiting, I'm waiting, I'm waiting. Vicky, are you going to participate in my life? Please, can you tell me something about the... Uh, okay. The, one of the greatest commandments in the Bible. Yes? No, take it. Take it, please. 
Yes. The greatest commandment in the Bible. No, I'm talking to my Facebook family. Let me invite friends to join. Thank you, my dear. Thank you for inviting. You can you can also you can join us live. You can join and then you take care, okay? I'm joining you soon. Yeah. Okay, thank you. I have two people already connected. I know there are more people view me who are not connected here ah che che rose thank you sending love valentine's greetings everything good may everything good comes your way oh the three please give, give me my hand back okay okay here we have uh, uh four people already oh that's great thank you for joining the show happy valentine's day yes geraldine welcome welcome to the live show so the question was yeah the question was who can give me the who can tell me the greatest commandment in the bible one of the greatest commandments in the bible yes Okay, this commandment talks about love. Love, because when we love ourselves, we also need to think about how did we start knowing about love? This love came from above. Love that we enjoy today came from above. Remember before Jesus came, uh, there were a lot and a lot of terrible things happening, but Jesus came and taught people how to live their life. So today we are gaining strength from what Jesus taught us. For those who are Christians, yes, Che Che Rose, the greatest commandment is love. Yes, thank you, dear, it is love. Yes, there is more about this. Before, If you read above, you will see somebody said the greatest commandment was love your neighbor as yourself. Yes, love your neighbor as yourself. Now, is that the, is that the full version? I want somebody to give me, uh, to quote that Bible verse for me. What is the Bible, what is the verse in the Bible? Yes, love your neighbor as yourself. Yes, welcome, Vicky, welcome to the show. Welcome to the live show. Hey, so glad to have all of you. It's amazing to have all of you. Invite your friends to join this live stream, guys. Let's have fun. Okay, congratulations, first of all, to Herodia, who already answer the first question correctly. <laughs> Invite more friends to join. Invite more friends to join. Yes. Thank you. Who can quickly give me the verse in the Bible that says love your neighbor as yourself, which is the greatest commandment. Okay, I'm waiting. I'm waiting. Thank you, Cheche Rose. Thank you, Chang Victory. Thank you, Geraldine. Thank you, Herodia. And uh, many others who are viewing me at the background. Yes. Please send more. Uh, Send more people to view. Mm. Okay. Oh, okay. So.
my camera. Ah, it's like the camera that was showing. Okay, so I'm waiting for the answer. United, uh, what? I saw something here. United, where is it? United Africa, please join us. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you for inviting. Uh, which says love your neighbors as yourself. Yes. Uh, <laughs> please. <laughs> Geraldine. <laughs> Uh, yes, many people have mentioned there is a Bible verse that says love your neighbor as yourself and it is the greatest, one of the greatest. Please don't cheat. <laughs> okay, give me the right one. Mengla, Larissa, please join us. Yes, thank you my dear. Invite more to join. Yes, invite them to join. Can you tell me the... The Bible verse. Okay, while waiting for you to give me this quotation in the Bible, the next question I'm going to ask is, what exactly does this verse tell you in person or in particular? Love your neighbor as yourself. What is the meaning? What does it mean? In other ways, what does what, what is the true meaning of this verse? Because we are just getting the surface meaning. But below it, there is more meaning. Can you please tell me your understanding of this verse? I'm waiting, I'm waiting, I'm waiting. I'm waiting. Let me read the comments below, which says, okay, the same, the same, the same comments. The greatest commandment is love, yes. Which says, love your neighbor. Love, which says, <laughs> okay, which says, love your neighbor as yourself. Uh, the greatest commandment, uh, am I scrolling the same, or is it just the same thing, going up and coming down? Okay, that means there is nothing below, so I'm waiting for more answers. Oh, everybody is gone. Yeah, they don't don't want to win that. Mm. Mm. Okay. Mm. Galatians five verse fourteen is the verse. Can you now, to be sure of yourself, Geraldine, thank you so much. Can you quote it exactly on this verse? Can you write it? What Galatians 5 verse 14 tells us? Because what you gave me above is just part. Poor network. Sorry, my dear. It's experiencing poor network. Okay. Okay, just just write quotation to tell me tell me the full the full verse what it says. You can also, you know, if you want to participate, you can also call and I will pick and you can speak. Okay. And you want to share Valentine's wishes, send Valentine's wishes to any friend out here, you can you can send a request and I will pick. Okay, Galatians five. Mm. Yes. 
I'm waiting. I want to see those bookies now. Ah. The genius. Yes. The wisdom. Those full of the wisdom of God in their minds. Yes. Everyone has the wisdom of God. Don't mind me. Everyone has the wisdom of God. Because if we don't have wisdom, it is not easy to do things. But the wisdom is at different levels. So every, every gift, everyone has every gift. But some of the gifts are more active and some are dormant. That's my meaning. Okay. Um, so guys, yeah, I just wanted to say that on this special day, a lot and a lot of people celebrate Valentine or Valentine's Day, but they do not really, they just care about having fun or just enjoying but they do not really care much about the meaning of love, true love. The meaning of true love. My phone is down. Oh, sorry, my dear. You can just clock it in. Uh, you can just clock it on the currents to charge it. Okay, so many ignore the meaning of love. Okay, Geraldine has come back with Galatians 5 verse 14. For the whole law is fulfilled. Love your neighbor as yourself. The whole law is fulfilled. That means this is one of the one of the most powerful law. Um, one of the most powerful verse or verses in the Bible that talks about love. It says, love your neighbor as yourself. Your neighbor, who is your neighbor? Your neighbor is anyone that you meet. Your neighbor must not be somebody that you know. Your neighbor may be somebody that you've never even, that means your neighbor is anybody you happen to meet and you are kind towards them. That is your neighbor. I want to take you back to um, to the story of the Good Samaritan in the Bible. That story is found in the book of James. Yes. The Good Samaritan. Yeah. How did this name come, the Good Samaritan? It was out of love. So today we actually talk about love, but we associate it only to Valentine and so on, but we forget so many things. When, when a man, a man had trouble and he was lying there, people were passing and they never cared, even including a priest who was rushing to go and offer mass service. He was rushing to offer mass service and someone was dying there. He looked at the person and he passed. But he did not pass the priest in his mind did not pass because maybe his meaning was that he wanted to rush and don't keep the people at church waiting. He wanted to go and offer mass. But the man was dying. Other people came and passed and the man was dying there. But one person, there was one man who came and saw that man, the man was uh, from far away. He did not even know this man. They were not close neighbors. He has never seen this man before. But this man came and cleaned this man from his wounds because that man was beaten by thieves. Cleaned this, man's, this man and then took him to a hotel, gave him food and then left him there and went on his journey. He was traveling and then told the man that whatever bills, are left in that hotel, he will pay back. So who showed more love? Was it the priests, the people who were passing by? So we see love is not only on Valentine's Day. Love is all over the place. There are so many ways we can show love to one another. 
Yes. There are so many ways that we can show love to people around us. And there mustn't be people that we have met. Yes. Today, we are talking here we have never met. Yes. So this is just being together, knowing each other, communicating and understanding each other. That is a sign of love. Yes. That is how we need to live as a neighbor. Your neighbor is not only that person who sleeps very close to you. Your neighbor is anybody you meet on the way. Anybody who comes at, who comes your way is your neighbor. So, guys, I will not end this show without talking about um, First Corinthians chapter 13, verse 1 to 4. No, verse 3 to 4. First Corinthians. First Corinthians, verse 4 to 5. Yes. Which talks about love again. It teaches us. This verse, it really teaches us how to live a better life. It gives us the quality of love. The quality of love. Love is patient. Oh my God, I love this verse. Love is kind. Love is not selfish. When you love somebody, you will share with the person. You will share ideas. It, because when we talk about sharing, people always think about material and, and so on. You share ideas that can help them in their daily life. Which you will share, you will share even things. When you love somebody, you will be patient with them, even when they are going wrong, even when they seem to be making mistakes, you will be patient with them. When you love somebody, you will be kind. You will share with them. When you love somebody, you will not be boasting of yourself. You will bring your down, yourself down. You will be humble. When you love somebody, you say you love somebody, you will not turn behind his back and you will be piercing him with a knife. You will not hurt him. So this really talks, it gives a whole lot about love. Yes. So, if we try to practice this kind of things, I think we'll be better people. We'll be better people and we'll have more love. Yes, Jefferson. T. Bang. What is the other name? That name is so difficult. Jefferson T. Bang Quado. Bang Quando. Okay. I've managed to say it. Yes. Thank you. Thank you for joining the show. Yes. I hope we can really practice this. So, um, I want to. Um, I want to talk, I, I'm, I'm so happy that I have some people sharing with me today about uh, this topic, and I hope that the little that we share today can also touch your life in a special way. Because um, in life, it is not when we turn behind and do evil things to others that we benefit. I think in life, we even benefit more when we are good to people, when we are kind and we are loving to one another. Okay, so... Okay, so happy Valentine. And happy Valentine's Day, my love. Yeah, so... Uh, I'm so glad to have all of you out there. And I, I guess we have really gotten much to learn about love. 
Okay. So guys, do you have any questions or anything to share? Because I always love to hear from you guys, but no one seems to be saying anything. Ah. I want to hear your voices. I want to hear those beautiful voices. I know we type and we write, but I really love if I could listen to those beautiful voices. I'm still waiting for birthday cake. Okay, my dear. That birthday cake, we already ate it. We already shared it and all of us ate. Which one are you waiting for again? Maybe the cake is still, maybe another cake is still to come. Remember we ate that birthday cake that day? Mm. Okay. Oh, the number is rising. Please, uh, you are free to invite if you want to share Valentine's wishes to loved ones out here. It mustn't be that one in our home. Remember. Oh, I got him, my dear. I understood, of course. Yes. So, uh, is it possible to love but don't want to be with the person? Uh, did you did you actually follow the definitions and the the things I talked about love? Now, when you talk about is, do you want to love and don't be with the person? It's like you are just talking about a relationship between man and woman. Am I right? Yes, Jefferson. That's why I can't join the live. Oh, thank you, my dear. I understand. Please, I want you to make your question clear before I can try to answer it yeah can you love but you don't be with somebody yes there are different kinds of love I can just love somebody for as a friend but not as not not as um, like being a couple so these are two different things and when you talk of being with somebody, I also don't understand that part. Do you mean that you can love somebody and uh, don't stay with the person? You need to make the question really clear before I can be able to handle it. Please open it for me. Yes. Oh, you you are free to join this live show. If you want to talk, because you can also be free to speak, you can you can request, and I am going to pick your call. Or so I'm going to. Okay, Geraldine wants to join. Oh, okay. Okay, Geraldine wants to join. Let me add. Act. Okay. It's so interesting to have you guys. Yes, Geraldine. Geraldine is adding, but it seems her network, she's having network problem because she already wrote here, I can't join the live. Mm. That is why. Yeah. She's having difficulties to join. So, any other person who wants to join? Yes. You can make a request and I will just add you. Ah, Geraldine is having difficulties to join. Uh, Jefferson, I'm still waiting for 
your clarification. <clears throat> and the first part I'm going to give while waiting for you is that yes, people can join and don't want to be with the people. That's in terms of um, partner relationship because of some reasons. There are many reasons. Sometimes cultural reasons Sometimes, uh, maybe for uh, reasons like maybe uh, character differences, because people, you know, people have different characteristics. Somebody may, somebody, you may love somebody, but maybe somebody may not love because you both are not compatible. These are some of the reasons. Some people also may not love back maybe because uh you somebody may love may not but not be maybe because if it is something that, that is known to the family maybe also because of family reasons so there are many reasons being in love okay let me read what jefferson said being in love with someone but finding it difficult to be with the person is it possible? I still don't, I'm still not very clear with this question. You are in, okay, let me not say you. The question is being in love with somebody. Someone is in love with another, but it is difficult to be with that person. Can you state, you need to come out to tell me how it is difficult before I can be able to explain this. Being in love with somebody, but finding it difficult to be with the person. This is very, the, the statement is a little bit contradictory, right? It is only when you can make it straightforward, then we can understand it better and know how to handle it and know how to answer it. You are in love with, so if you are in love, but you cannot be with somebody, that means there's an obstacle, there is something, there's a barrier that is blocking. So what is the barrier? Is it on your own side or is it on the person's side? So you need to make it clear. Meanwhile, uh, as Jefferson is, reflecting we are, are waiting on other people also to also tr attempt this question if anybody also has an answer to these questions you can also bring it down because we are all discussing Yes, please. Are we together? Is Jefferson gone too? No, he's there. And uh, is is are the others gone? If someone is in love with another, but he finds it difficult to be with a person. That means there's an obstacle. What is that obstacle? Until you bring out the obstacle, no one can be able to really answer the question. We don't know whether the obstacle should be on your own side or on the, pers on the, the other person's side, but there is an obstacle. It is just like, this is a road and you want to cross to this side. Something is standing in the middle of the road right you cannot go across until you remove what is in the middle of the road you cannot go across and the other person may want to cross here and he cannot cross because there's a blockage so that is what i mean by obstacle
Geraldine, can you please help me answer this question? The way you understand it, please. Because you know, many people understand in different ways. Other people's contributions can also help. Hmm? Let me check. Is that check to go with the paper? Okay. So I need to return him while we get out. Okay. Behaviors and personal differences from both parties, but yet still loved each other, but finding it difficult to stay together as well. Good. Now your question is getting clear. Now, you talk of dif uh, behaviors. Let me tell you that when two people, when two people come together, they are ne never perfect. Two people who never ever live together. They have their differences. Sometimes it is only when they understand each other. When they come to, when they come together, they start knowing each other. And now each, for example, one is learning the other one and the other one is learning the other. So they get to know each other's character. At that time, as you are knowing your character, for example, you know this person is like this. Now, you yourself, you are trying to adjust. You are adjusting to meet up to that person's character, and the other person is adjusting to meet your own character. Without that, you guys cannot live. There is no couple who come together and their character is just perfect. When they come together, or when they live apart, they get to know each other and there they start learning and they start changing to suit each other's taste. Yes, I am a married woman. I have a husband. From the moment I met my husband, it wasn't everything that I loved about him. It wasn't also everything that he loved about me. Maybe he could, maybe he found some difficulties. And once he tells me that this is this, I will start adjusting. If I love him, because some, if you love somebody, you will try to adjust and change to suit their, their taste. Am I making any, any sense? But it mustn't only be one partner doing this. Both partners need to understand each other and see how they can adjust. Because you are just two people living from different places to meet, and there is bound to be that difference, a lot of differences uh, between you. Someone is requesting, okay, uh, is Geraldine again, okay. Uh, Jefferson wants to add. Okay, and uh, Herod, now the first person here on the line is Herodia. Let me add Herodia. No, it's not, not easy to add all at the same time. Only one at a time. Okay, Herodia. So you must understand that in life, people who come from two different families, they must, they are bound to have differences. But coming together, they can learn from one another and they understand each other and they adjust. Even right now, I'm still having some differences with my husband. That's the reason why people will have to quarrel sometimes or to argue the argument is meant to know to know each other and then to adjust. Jefferson, did I attempt your answer? When is love? Uh, when is love? Is love, my dear? When you love someone, differences doesn't matter. 
that is it when you sometimes even when you truly love you can even hardly find those differences at that time that is why you would hear statements like love is blind so thank you so much geraldine for this contribution when you truly love somebody sometimes you might not when they do some few things like mistakes you know you cannot really you cannot really see it as a mistake or you cannot see it as something bad right okay so um yeah so we can continue talking and then we can go out yes herodia also tried to join but she could not join she had difficulties to join okay so um we will be concluding and be moving come come on let's go so yes when the love is when the love is there you can forget about the personal differences right there are certain things i am talking and i'm sharing my own true experiences there are certain mistakes that when you come as couples you love one another there are certain things that you are going to let go because of the love that dominates right because of your love for one another you decide to forgive you decide to teach you decide to learn from one another yes that is what love is all about when you love you can forgive when you love you are patient that goes back to what i said jefferson you can go read that verse first corinthians chapter 13 verse 4 to 5 you can start from verse 3 to 5 there you are going to get more about love love is patient it is kind love is teaching love is not boastful love is read or there so guys we are about working out so i want to thank you all for joining this live stream and i'll continue to answer your questions if you have more thank you so much i'm wishing you the best of this valentine love you all. Bye-bye.